Hi, I'm Aisha Fermansky with Beachcation.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use the super cool miter jig. This is the miter jig. It is great for cutting and filing stock completely flat and flush um, with a little assistance from a file the majority of the time. So let me show you how it works. These jaws open and to release them, you unscrew these two screws and then pull the jaws open. As you'll see, there are two because you have two choices here. You can file and um, cut to a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle. I, I, for the majority of everything that I do, I use the 90 degree angle. And well, let's open this and take a peek. You'll see that there are these three diamonds here. This is for teeny tiny wire, medium gauge wire, and very thick um, tubing or wire here. And then this end, where you see that little box, that is to get a nice straight edge on flat stock, like flat wire. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Here I have a nice thick gauge copper wire, and I'm gonna place it here through the back into the jaws, just like this. And the reason I'm doing this is, can you, can you see the end of the stock has a very angled, rough end? And let's say, for example's sake, I'm gonna solder something together and I need this to be super flat and flush. So I'm gonna put this through here. I'm gonna close the jaws, just so that just the very tip of that wire is sticking out. And then I'm gonna screw this down being pretty firm. So now it's staying put, and we're just gonna file that away. Off camera, I've been filing, and I wanted to show you our progress. You can see that the wire is almost flat, flush against the steel. I'm gonna file it a little bit more. The wire is now flat, flush against the steel block. This is a really great tool if you're soldering. As you know, with soldering, to be successful, you need two completely flat and flush ends together. So if that's something you're having a hard time with, having a hard time achieving it using a flush cutter and file, this tool might be for you. The miter jig is also great when using tubing. Lots of times I need to cut a, a length for a project, which I can easily do with my saw, um, but lots of times it's kind of crooked and a little wonky. So you can use this also just as a vise. Enter, oops, excuse me, out of frame there. Put the tubing into the vise. Push it through to where you need. A lot of times I place a mark, I'll measure out, you know, an inch and a quarter, put a little Sharpie mark, and then when I pass it through the vise, then I stop when I see the mark screw down the screws. Lots of times I'll then just come in with my jeweler's saw and saw this. And then take out the extra stock, take my little strip, flip it and put it back in the vise, and then file down the edges just to make sure they're really, really nice and flush. This tool is great for tubing.